All right, everybody, calipers. How to use calipers. These are really important tools for many fields of science, particularly uh, field um, ecology, geology, use a lot in physics, all kinds of fields use these. So keep them in their case to keep them safe if you can. I'll set that aside. The first thing you wanna know is to think about, it. This, this is used for measuring small things, usually less than about six inches. And uh, you want to make sure that you, I don't know how to hold this, but there's a little thumb wheel that you can use to move the, um, the, the, the caliper along this line. So make sure that you use the thumb wheel. You, before you use it, you want to make sure that it reads zero. If it does not read zero, you're going to adjust it using there's a little adjustment dial here and so you'll just make sure that this reads zero it's important to start at zero okay so let's let's show you how to use it so you can use it to measure say a snail shell let's say you want to measure the opening of this moon snail lunacia heroes you can measure you put the calipers at the outside and then you can set the organism down and then this is how we're going to read it. You're going to read the 10 millimeters along this, so that's 40. And then you're going to come to the dial and it, it looks like to me it's 42.5. You can also estimate between the, the 0.1 marks on here if you want. So. I would say that that measurement's 42.5 millimeters. Make sure you write down your units any time you take a measurement. Another fun thing about these calipers is that you can measure the inside diameter. So this is for measuring outside diameter on this side. This side is for measuring inside diameter. So again, we would put the calipers inside the aperture of the snail shell and we can measure this distance. Let's just do a quick review. So that to me is 10, 20, 36 almost, but so 30 and then it looks like it's 5.5. So 35.5 is how I would record that one. Okay, another thing you can do with these is you can measure, say, if you're looking at barnacles or stems, you can measure the base of the barnacle. Or you can measure, let's say, here's another thing, the inside diameter of the moon snail hole made by the moon snail radula. So you can start to get an idea of how versatile these are for measuring small things, both inside and outside diameters. Um, I, if you have any questions after seeing this, send me an email and uh, I'll help you out.